today we're gonna read Rio 2 Blue's Wild Journey. Not too long ago, Blue had thought he was the only Blue Specs Macaw left in the world. He lived in Minnesota with Linda, where she owned a bookstore. They didn't have many customers, but they had each other. Six thousand miles looking for the two of you, he told Linda. The man's name was Tulio. He studied birds, and his specialty was the rare blue spix macaw. He wanted Blue and Linda to come to Brazil with him. As far as we know, Blue is the last male of his kind, Tulio said. We recently found a female of his kind. We hope to bring them together to save the species. to Rio with Tulio. They were overwhelmed by the sights and sound of the big city. It was Carnival, the biggest party of the year. But when Blue met Jewel, he forgot about everything else. She was the most beautiful bird he had ever seen. Jewel didn't think much of Blue at first. He was a bird that couldn't fly. And she was a wild bird that wanted to escape from the aviary and find her way back home. But the two became fast friends. They met other animals in Rio who helped them adjust to the city too. And soon, Rio had become their home. Now, Blue and Jewel and their three children, Carla, Bia, and Tiago, Live with Linda and Tulio at the sanctuary they created in Rio. Life was good. And now on New Year's Eve, as Blue sat with his family and watched the fireworks pop over the city, he wished that nothing would change. At that same moment, Linda and Tulio were on an expedition deep in the Amazon rainforest. They were 
were turning a baby bird, they nurtured back to health, to its home. Suddenly, the river rapids swept them downstream and over a waterfall. When they surfaced at the bottom, they made their way to dry land to catch their breath. As they sat there, trying to figure out where they had landed, a bird zipped over their heads, and one long feather fell to the ground. A bright blue feather. Linda and Tulio looked at each other in awe. It belonged to a blue Spix's macaw. Back in Rio, Blue and the kids were busy making breakfast. Flip! A pancake sailed through the air. Squirt! Carla sprayed whipped cream on top. Jewel flew in with a Brazil nut clutched in her beak. She couldn't believe the sight before her. She pulled Blue aside. She wanted him to help her show the kids how to be birds, not people. But everything stopped when Tulio and Linda appeared on TV. Tulio showed the feather they'd found and announced that a flock of blue spixes macaws might be living in the jungle. We're not the only ones, Jewel cried excitedly. We have to get out to the wild birds, Blue. Carla, Bia, and Tiago cheered. An adventure into the wild sounded like a good idea to them too, but Blue wasn't so sure. his friends. He told Raphael, Nico, and Pedro that Jewel wanted to take the kids to the Amazon to look for more birds of their kind. He couldn't understand why she would want to change their situation when everything was going so well. But his friends convinced him it would be a good trip for the whole family, a vacation in the wild. If this is important to Jewel, just do it, Raphael said. Happy wife, happy life. It was a beautiful trip. The birds flew from Rio to Aro Preto. They perched on top of a cathedral where they could see the entire city. Carla, Bia, and Tia 
Chicago had never been anywhere outside of Rio. They couldn't get enough of this new sight. The family flew for the rest of the day and into the night. The kids were growing weary. They were ready to get to the vacation portion of the trip. Blue and Jewel gave the kids a lift. Carla, Bia, and Tiago slept soundly as their parents carried them through the night. Coasted over a river, they spotted an old river boat steaming along. What luck! They swooped down to hitch a ride. of the boat as it moves slowly down the river. The sun was beginning to set. It cast a pink and gold glow over the water. Jewel spread her wings and let the wind ruffle her feathers. She was so happy to be out in the open air. Blue was nervous to be going to such a wild place. He couldn't help but look back toward the city a few times. As the boat moved further down the river, but the sight of Jewel made him hopeful that this new adventure would be exciting. Thank you for doing this, Jewel said. I would do anything for you, Blue replied. And he meant it. The birds remained on the old river boat into the night. It was nice to rest their wings for a little while. First light, the travelers were well rested. They flew off with high hopes and renewed excitement. Jewel felt so at home being back in the wild. The birds finally landed in the jungle. They looked around, but there was no sign of Linda or Tulio. There was no sign of any other macaws. Blue checked his GPS. He programmed the exact coordinates of Linda and Tulio's camp. Could they have missed a turn? Or landed in the wrong part of the jungle? Suddenly, a flash 
是耳朵卡住在。Blue watch that she looked up into the tree canopy, then followed her gaze. Blue couldn't believe what they were seeing. Perched in the branches overhead were dozens of blue spixes macaws. I can't believe we found them, Jewel said breathless. Blue had to admit it was an amazing sight. They'd come so far from Rio. And here was the very thing they'd been searching for: more of their kind. What's going on? An angry voice boomed out of the shadows. A large bird appeared and looked down at the new arrivals. Who are you? Where did you come from? Blue wasn't sure what to do, but Jewel walked up to the bird. And gave him a little push. Hey, she said, back off. She stared into his eyes and then gasped. I can't believe it, she said. How, how, how is this? The other bird said, "I've looked everywhere for you." Jewel couldn't believe her eyes. It was her father, Eduardo. My daughter has returned. Eduardo said proudly. He hugged Jewel. Then he turned to meet his grandchildren. Blue looked on from the background. This was the family Jewel had been taken from, and here they all were. Tucked away in the Amazon, an entire tribe of blue spixes were cause. Blue tried to join their happy reunion, but Eduardo was tough. He kept calling Blue Stew. Blue hadn't felt as far from home as he did now. Watching Jewel greet old family and friends. Eduardo led the way to the Macaz village, hidden behind a waterfall in a verdant green forest, or even more blue spixes macaz. Six 
Mrs. McCaw left in the entire world. Now he had a beautiful wife, three amazing children, and an entire jungle full of birds just like him. They were no longer the last of their kind. He knew there would be challenges to face and other birds to impress. But Blue was proud of himself. It had been a wild journey for the little blue spaces macaw from Minnesota. And now it was time to celebrate 